8.1 is equal to 3m plus 4.5. And what we want to do here is to solve for the variable m. What is m equal to? And uh, obviously, we have some decimals, so feel free to use your calculator. But if we could figure this out, go ahead and put your answer into the comment section. Then I'm going to walk through exactly how to solve this basic equation step by step. But uh, before we get started, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John, and I have been teaching middle and high school math for decades. And if you need help learning math, check out my math help program at tcmathacademy.com. You can find a link to that in the description below. And if this video helps you out, or if you just enjoy this content, make sure to like and subscribe, as that definitely helps me out. Okay, so you don't have to use a calculator to solve this problem, but uh, you know, for me, I'm not really interested in whether you can work with decimals. I'm really more interested in, do you know the steps it takes to solve for the variable m? Because we're gonna be focused in on basic algebra here. But here's the thing, uh, this particular equation has decimals, okay? So obviously, that's why I said, feel free to use a calculator. But um, if you couldn't figure this problem out, a good approach here is to try a similar problem without decimals. So in other words, 8.1 is equal to 3m plus 4. Well, could you solve this equation? 8 is equal to 3m plus 4. Okay, so if you could solve this, well, then you can solve this right here. So don't let the decimals confuse you because we're basically taking the same steps. So let's go and take a look at, at uh, exactly how to solve this equation right now. All right, now what we're going to do, okay, now the way I'm going to do this uh, is what I think is the easiest way. Typically, matter of fact, before I show you all these steps here, uh, let's just kind of do a quick review. If I have an equation like 2x is equal to 10, notice that the variable is on the left-hand side and the number is on the right-hand side. This is generally the way we like to see equations written. Now, what if I had this equation like this, 10 is equal to 2x? Well, uh, this, these two equations are equivalent, okay? 2x is equal to 10, or 10 is equal to 2x. So if you have an equation like this, you're like, you know, I don't like the variable, the variable on the right-hand side. I like to see it on the left-hand side. Just switch it, okay? Put the 2x here and the 10 here. That's perfectly legal in math. But if you have this uh, type of equation like this, 2x is equal to 10, to solve for x, this is 2 times x, right? Hopefully you know how to solve this type of equation because if you can't solve this type of equation, then you're going to have a difficult time solving the one that we're going to be doing here in a second. But to solve for x, all we have to do is divide both sides of the equation by 2, so x would be equal to 5. So when you build up your um, algebra skills in terms of solving basic linear equations, you start off with things called one-step equations, things that only require one step to solve, like 2x is equal to 10, or y minus 1 is equal to 6. These uh, equations only require one step. So if you're struggling with equations, first get these one-step equations down, and then you can move on to something called two-step equations, and then get uh, those down. And then you can move on to something called multi-step equations. So if you need help in solving algebraic equations, I'll give you some uh, suggestions here in a second. But uh, anyways, so first things first, let's go ahead and take a look at this problem. So I have 8.1 is equal to 3m plus uh, 4.5. So for me personally, you, know, you don't have to do this. I see the variable on the right hand side. So I'm going to like, you know what, I'm going to take this whole thing here and I'm going to take it over and I'm going to move it to the left hand side. So I'm just going to switch sides just as I kind of showed you with 2x is equal to 10 and x is equal or 10 is equal to 2x and 2x is equal to 10. You can do that. So now uh, all we're going to do is uh, put the right hand side on the left hand. Uh, side and the left hand side on the right hand side. So that's my first move. You don't have to do that, but just makes things easier for most people to see that variable on the left hand side. Okay, so now what we want to do is um, obviously have our variable on the left hand side and all of our numbers on the right hand side. So at this point, we have all of our variable terms on the left hand side, but we have this number over here, 4.5 on the left. We want to move this over to the right hand side, right? We want to get all of our numbers on the right hand side, all of our variable terms on the left hand side. So how can I uh, move this 4.5 to the other, other side of the equation? Well, that's pretty easy. All we have to do is subtract uh, 4.5 from both sides of the equation, okay? Now, why would I do that? Well. 
in algebra, we have something called, well, this is, I kind of make, um, made up this rule, but it's the golden rule of algebra. Well, that's the name of my rule, but basically it means the following. Whatever you do to an equation, as long as you do it equally to both sides, you can do whatever you want. So if I have this uh, uh, 4.5 on the on this side of the equation, and I don't want this uh, number over here. I want all my numbers on the other side. Well, how do I get rid of a 4.5 over here? Well, easy. I can just subtract away a 4.5 from a positive 4.5 because this will be zero. But if I'm going to subtract a 4.5 on the left-hand side, I have to do the exact same thing on the other, other side of the equation. So if I had a simple equation like 2x is equal to 10, okay, I could do whatever I want here. Uh, I could be like, well, I'll just add 1 to both sides of the equation. So now this equation is 2x plus 1 is equal to 11, right? So this equation is the same as this equation. I didn't uh, break the equation. I just made it look different. But remember, whatever you do to one side of the equation, you got to do the exact same thing to the other side. Okay, so now let's go ahead and add down in a column manner. So 3m plus nothing is 3m. 4.5 minus 4.5 is 0. Okay, so that number now disappears from the left-hand side. There's no need to write that 0 right there. And then 8.1 minus 4.5 is 3.6. Now, again, uh, feel free to use a calculator. We're not going to be discussing how to add and subtract decimals, but that's what that is equal to. All right, so now we're down to this equation here. 3m is equal to 3.6. And in algebra, what you're doing is you're just taking your larger equations and you're simplifying them down into smaller equations, okay? This equation is equivalent to this equation. Uh, we're just kind of whittling this thing down. That's why you have to take things one step at a time. Okay, so 3m is equal to 3.6. How do we solve for m? Well, uh, this is actually pretty easy. All we need to do is divide both sides of the equation by 3 because 3 divided by 3 is 1 or 1m. So m, that's what we're looking for, is 3.6 divided by 3. Again, feel free to use your calculator. So we'll see here that the answer is 1.2. Okay, 3.6 divided by 3 is 1.2. All right, so that is the solution to the equation. Now, um, this particular problem is just, you know, it's a very simple illustration in basic algebra, okay? So in other words, you might be saying, hey, you know, Mr. YouTube Math Man, this might be basic to you, but it's not basic to me. Well, I get that. Now, if you want to learn algebra, right? Uh, well, let's just kind of quickly review some of the things that you're going to have to uh, understand before you learn how to solve equations. So the first thing you need to do is get down your foundation stuff, okay? In other words, you got to learn how to work with fractions and decimals, all that arithmetic stuff is extremely important, okay? You can't be saying, well, I, you know, I don't need to remember that because I'll just use my calculator. No, it doesn't work that way, okay? You need to particularly understand how to work with fractions, okay? They, that's a really weak area for a lot of people that um, – have a tough time with algebra. So the first things first, go back and review all that basic stuff that uh, most of us uh, forgot. Now, if you need to review and learn basic mathematics, check out my Math Foundations course. You'll see a link to it in the description below. But beyond that, okay, uh, and of course, basic math would include working with positive and negative numbers, decimals, percent, order of operations, and there's a lot to learn there. Okay, but you got to get this down. Then once you start learning how to solve equations, you start learning how to solve something called linear uh, equations, right? And that's what we're talking about here. So again, you're going to start with those one-step equations, equations that only require one step. Then you get into two-step, and then you get into multi-step equations. And then beyond that, there are a ton of different type of equations that you need to learn in algebra, like systems of equations, quadratic equations, rational equations, radical equations exponential equations. So this is a whole journey in and of itself. Okay. So, you know, algebra, you know, is a huge, uh, you know, kind of universe of skills. So you have to take it one thing at a time, but you also have to go in order. You got to get the basics down. So if you're struggling with this stuff, you got to have to kind of, you know, ask yourself, hey, did I really learn those fundamentals, you know, well enough? So don't feel bad if you need to review, but hopefully this little video was interesting uh, problem working with decimals. And if you were able to solve this without a calculator, well, that is uh, uh, super impressive because, again, 
you're going to have to be able to work with decimals, uh, you know, in algebra, okay, uh, pretty frequently. But uh, typically, most of your teachers out there, if you are a student, will let will let you use your calculators. Okay, so with all that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time, and have a great day.